Number 10. Ancient Villages in the Wyoming Mountains Archaeologists in Wyoming have found a series of ancient villages that were deserted thousands of years ago by the original inhabitants of the region. Matthew Stern from the University of Sheffield, along with his colleagues, found the 13 ancient villages. By combing through the wreckage of these long-lost settlements, Matthew and his team have been able to learn more about the lives of the ancestors of modern Native American tribes, like the Northern Paiute, the Comanche, and the Shoshone. The villages were uncovered in the Wind River Range, built high up in the mountains over 2,000 years ago. What makes this discovery so fascinating is that scientists have generally associated high altitudes with prehistoric travel, but not living. Scientists said it made no sense for ancient people to be living high up in the mountains. Well, tell that to the Inca in Machu Picchu. But 13 villages make a pretty substantial statement, meaning all of these presumptions are completely invalid. See, told ya. The settlements were found at over 9,000 feet, so people definitely lived and even thrived at high altitudes. Researchers believe the main staple of food for these mountain villagers have been the pine nuts from white bark pine trees. They even found grindstones that were once used to mash up pine nuts for consumption. But this just goes to show that there is so much we don't know about the original inhabitants of America. Number 9. Ancient Viruses Scientists studying glacier ice high up in the Tibetan mountains have stumbled upon viruses frozen in the ice for 15,000 years. These viruses survived because they remained frozen. They presumably could have continued to live for thousands of years more if they had been left in the ice. They were discovered because scientists took a pair of ice samples from high up in the mountains, about 22,000 feet above sea level. The ice on the glaciers formed gradually for a very long time, according to researchers from Ohio State University. As the ice was forming, it trapped dust, gas from the atmosphere, bacteria, and viruses. To make sense of this, think of the glacier ice as one big sticky rat trap. Year after year, whatever was floating in the atmosphere at the time that the ice was frozen was trapped. The next year, when more ice froze, whatever was in the atmosphere then was also trapped. All the scientists needed to do was drill down into the ice to get a timeline of all the different things that were captured from the atmosphere over the past 15,000 years. What they discovered were 33 viruses. Four of them have already been identified by modern scientists, but 28 of them are new, and about half of those only survived because of the frozen conditions. What this means is that they probably can't live outside of an environment that isn't terribly cold. And while the viruses haven't proved contagious or fatal for humans yet, who knows what else could be lurking in the Tibetan mountains, trapped within layers of ice and snow. Number 8. The Nanagat Cave Temple The Nanagat Cave Temple is one of the most mysterious places in all of India. The temple itself is located in Nanagat, a mountain pass in the Western Ghats mountain range. The pass is about 75 miles north from the largest major city. In ancient times, it was part of a trading route traversed by merchants and their caravans. But the mountain pass is most famous for its cave temple, which has inscriptions in an ancient Indo-Aryan dialect that go back to the 2nd century BC. The inscriptions mostly speak of Hinduism and its many deities, but also refer to ancient rituals and the Satavahana's dynasty that once controlled the area. The Nanagat Cave was probably a rest stop used by travelers moving through the mountains. Its name literally translates to Coin Pass. This has led researchers to believe that someone had lived in the cave full time and collected a toll from any trader who wished to cross to the other side. In fact, what some archaeologists have mistook for a stupa is actually nothing but a roadside toll booth. The mysterious cave was first discovered in modern times in 1828 by a man named William Sykes who was hiking in the area. While not an archaeologist or a historian, this outdoor enthusiast on a hike made what turned out to be a fascinating discovery. Number 7. Mountains on the Moon The famous astronomer Galileo Galilei made a rather impressive discovery regarding mountains. But this discovery was not actually on our planet. We need to look a bit further, all the way to the moon. Why? In 1609, Galileo became the first person to discover mountains on the surface of the moon. Back in 1609, people still believed that our planet was simply a realm where mortals lived. 
They felt that space was a heavenly place where all celestial bodies were completely perfect and smooth spheres. What I mean by that is that things like the sun, the moon, and every star in the sky was supposed to be a perfectly smooth and bright marble. When Galileo discovered that there are mountains on the moon, it created quite the upheaval. People were absolutely furious. They blamed Earth and the corruption of humans for the contamination of the moon. Up until Galileo's discovery, a lot of scientists explained the fact that there were dark patches on the moon by saying it was just different densities of different materials. There couldn't possibly be mountains because it was perfectly circular and smooth like a polished stone. But Galileo saw through his telescope small shadows that moved depending on the position of the sun. These shadows moved along the surface of the moon just like shadows move on the surface of the earth when the sun rises and sets over mountains. To Galileo, this led to a very obvious conclusion. Unfortunately, the church was not a big fan of this discovery. Later on, when Galileo tried to explain that the earth revolves around the sun, he was sentenced to a lifetime of house arrest for blasphemy. Number 6. Mysterious Human Remains On a California mountain peak, the discovery of a skeleton created quite a mystery. It all began when a pair of climbers were reaching the top of Mount Williamson, the second highest peak in the state of California. They happened upon what looked to be a skeleton buried underneath some stones in a field of boulders. When they got close enough to inspect the skeleton, it was pretty obvious that it belonged to a person and that they had been dead for a very long time. Nothing remained of this individual except a pair of leather shoes, a worn-out belt, and of course, his pale white bones. According to the Inyo County Sheriff's Department, nobody has any idea who this person was, how they died, or really any facts of the case. The spokeswoman for the department, Karma Roper, said it's a huge mystery. Here are all the facts we have anyway. The body was discovered at an altitude of roughly 14,000 feet. The average person would not hike to such an extreme height. Plus, the hikers who found the body had accidentally strayed off course and gotten a bit lost. The body could have been there for years, or even decades. Yet there have been no missing people from the area that the skeleton could belong to. There's just nowhere to even start with the search. What do you think happened to lead to the dead man in the mountains? Let me know your theories in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We've got lots more videos like these coming up. Number 5. Mountains in the Earth I've already told you about mountains on the moon, and now it's time to talk about subterranean mountains underneath the surface of the Earth. According to National Geographic, you could be standing at the very top of an enormous mountain even taller than Mount Everest right now and not even know it. This might sound like something out of a fantasy book, but it's completely true. There is a geological boundary that scientists found about 400 miles beneath the surface. The boundary has enormous mountains that would give you vertigo just trying to see their tops. How could we have possibly made such an amazing discovery? Scientists identified these subsurface mountains by using seismic waves from earthquakes. They tracked the signals kind of like extremely advanced subterranean echolocation to get a rough idea of the underground mountains. There isn't a hollow earth fantasy landscape 400 miles deep, but rather hard, rugged rock. The mountains were probably created by the rearrangement of elements and chemicals. The point is that something very strange is happening deep beneath our feet. If you broke the earth open like a coconut, you would find enormous mountains hiding near the center. Number 4. Ancient Mexican Mountain Cave At first glance, the Chiquihuite Cave in Mexico doesn't seem like a very nice place to live. It's a dark, creepy, unforgiving cave high in the desert mountains of central Mexico. It's also been excavated continuously for about the last decade. The reason is that the mysterious cave holds evidence of human occupation in North America going back 30,000 years. For any of you who remember your history class, you'll probably remember that scientists used to believe that humans first arrived on the continent only 15,000 years ago, give or take a few years. This one mountain cave where primitive humans once rested their heads has evidence that will make every school need to rewrite their history books. Archaeologist Cyprian Ardelian and his fellow researchers have already unearthed thousands of artifacts from the floor of the mountain cave. They found ancient blades, points from projectiles, and flakes of rock that had been used for making primitive tools. All the evidence points to human habitation. 
They even found bits of charcoal in the layers of sediment, meaning humans had been starting fires in the cave. It's possible that cave people lived here for around 15,000 or 17,000 years before they went out into the light and eventually formed great civilizations like the Maya and the Aztecs. If you really think about it, that's pretty amazing. People literally started off in Mexican mountain caves, gradually went up to the surface, and over a shockingly short amount of time, developed a complex society. Number 3. Aliens in the Mountains A retired official who goes by the alias Anjali says that she had a meeting in 2018 with extraterrestrials in the Mojave Desert in Nevada. This woman claims to be a retired defense intelligence officer who was put in charge of forming a team of scientists. This team of scientists was charged with holding meetings with aliens. All of this may sound completely crazy, and maybe it is. Either way, she actually held a news conference at the Lincoln Memorial in August of 2021 to discuss her part, given to her by the United States government in parlaying with extraterrestrials. One of her other shocking claims is that deep in the Mojave Desert is an alien base inside a hollowed mountain. Her real name is Angelica Lynn Johnston, and she said in her news conference that she will be bringing an astronaut and some scientists to the secret base so that they can meet with the supposed aliens. But she never did give a date for when this is going to take place, and she couldn't actually give a specific location for the secret base. Either there are aliens living in the mountains of the Mojave, or this woman is a complete lunatic. We just don't know. Number 2. The 1976 Bigfoot A 1976, a man in Oregon was intent on proving that Bigfoot really does exist. His name is Peter Byrne, currently 95 years old, and still searching for Bigfoot. He's been searching for almost a century, despite the fact that everyone seems to think he's completely crazy and that Bigfoot is nothing but a figment of people's imaginations. But to be honest, nobody has gone after Bigfoot harder than Peter. He went on an expedition in Nepal in the 1950s to try and discover the Yeti living in the Himalayan mountains. He found a few footprints up there in the snow at altitudes of 15,000 feet but these were never authenticated as belonging to a great mountain ape. In the 1960s, Peter moved to Oregon and directed the Bigfoot Information Center and Exhibition. He continued trying to track down the elusive Bigfoot, sometimes known as Sasquatch. He even got in touch with the FBI in the 1970s after he discovered something mysterious in the Washington mountains. There had been a Bigfoot sighting at a campground with a large tuft of hair left behind. Peter got in touch with FBI Assistant Director J. Cochran Jr. in November of 1976 and sent the sample of hair to be tested. The FBI agreed to test the hair for Peter. Sadly, it turned out to be from a deer. And now, all these years later, Peter still hasn't been able to prove that a mountain monster exists, either in the mountains of Nepal or in the northwest of the United States. What about you? Do you think Bigfoot really exists? Let me know in the comments below. Number 1. A Box of Treasure Last summer, somebody stashed $10,000 in cash in the mountains of Utah. 17 days later, Andy Swagner from Draper found that buried chest while searching with his wife. It was filled, as promised, with $10,000 of cold hard cash, a single silver coin, and a few other cool trinkets. He dug the buried treasure up at Hughes Canyon Trail near the mouth of the Big Cottonwood Canyon. Andy dug the treasure chest out from under a dead tree and told local news that he plans to use the cash to pay off some debts and then take his daughters to Disneyland. But let's back up a bit. Who in their right mind would bury so much money in a treasure chest just so people could go hunting for it? Well, it was hidden by John Maxim and David Klein as part of their second annual Utah treasure hunt. The hunt is supposed to be a thing that's happening every year now as a way to encourage people to go outside and get some fresh air. If you happen to be in Utah next summer, a trip into the mountains may just earn you a literal treasure. What would you do with a $10,000 mountain treasure? Let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching! Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon! Bye!